This ground cover here is called Arctostaphylus or Kinnikinnik. It's native, I believe, from Alaska down to Northern California on the coast. I'm in on the Oregon coast right now in January, and uh, the berries are really a nice bright spot. Um, it loves the dry, sandy conditions. Obviously in the winter time here it's not dry. It rains a ton, but it can dry out really quickly because of the sandy soil. Uh, it's got the reddish flaky bark. It's closely related to um, Arbutus, um, Rhododendron. It's uh, all in that same ericaceous family. Uh, you'll see it all over in cultivation. It's very easy to, to buy at a nursery. Um, it's good for northern areas that aren't too cold, although it does take quite a bit of cold. But it likes generally acidic soil. It's tough or impossible to grow in alkaline soil. Um, in the landscape, we water it regularly or intermittently. It is slightly drought tolerant, but it takes a while to get going. The biggest problem we have in Oregon, especially in the landscape, is called black spot. Uh, these plants are pretty clean. I do see a little bit in here, but black spot will get so bad on some varieties of Arctostaphylus that, or Kinnikinnik, that it can pretty much destroy sections of the plant. So wonderful ground cover where you can grow it thickly. I've seen it form big thick weed covering mats about four inches deep, maybe six inches with trimming along the edges. I have several customers that have that. And uh, it's a good, good evergreen ground cover.